B Marsh Box with another post fight review. Um, this was a, supposed to be a title fight between Robert Easter and um, Javier Fortuna, but Javier Fortuna ain't make weight. But let's get into it, man. You know, this guy, Javier Fortuna, I'm sorry, Robert Easter, man. This guy did exactly what I said he should not do in order to win this fight. And, you know, he made this fight much closer than it should be. You know what I mean? The man, Javier Fortuna, got up on close, close quarters, was clipping this man with left hooks. You know what I mean? He was counterpunching. He was waiting all night to counterpunch the guy. And he was actually having success, you know what I mean? Only rounds that the man, in my opinion, uh, Robert Easter had success was when he was fighting tall, you know what I mean? Using his jab as a range finder. The straight right hand was money all day. And that's for, for an orthodox fighter fighting a southpaw. That's actually the money shot. That's a shot like, it seems like a, 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 a southpaw can't avoid, you know what I mean? Go check Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. A, a southpaw... They just they just can't avoid getting hit with that straight right hand, and Robert Easter was putting it on him. But for the most part, man, this guy Robert Easter, man, he was fighting, he wasn't fighting tall, you know what I mean? He was getting caught with left hooks, getting his knees buckled, you know what I mean? Getting clipped, and um, Javier Fortuna was just counter punching, you know what I mean? There were rounds that the man um, Javier Fortuna looked like he was gassing out. Actually, them rounds when he was getting caught with straight right hands down the pipe, you know what I mean? But the man Javier Fortuna. He showed excellent, um, tremendous work um, work rate, especially in the championship rounds, which I did give to the man, um, Javier Fortuna. The championship rounds were all Javier Fortuna. Made this fight close, you know what I mean? But round one, um, they did deduct a point, you know what I'm saying, from Javier Fortuna for, for hitting Robert Easter with rabbit punches behind the head. So they deducted a point. That was a round that I did give Robert Easter. And actually, ladies and gents, boxing heads and fight fans around the world, that was the difference in this fight. 114-113 on my scorecard. Six rounds apiece, but just because of that um, deduction um, for the rabbit punches, that's how Robert Easter edged this fight. And actually, that's how the judges had it. One judge had it 115-113, 114-113 in, in favor of the man... Um, Robert Easton, one judge had it 114-113 in favor of the man Javier Fortuna. So I can't be mad at the judges' scorecards, you know what I mean? Those, those, those scorecards were pretty much accurate, you know what I mean? And, you know, Robert Easton, man, I'm not going to lie, man. This guy looks like he's too drained for this weight class, you know what I mean? The man got to get back, go up to 140, you know what I mean? He said he wants to unify with Jorge Linares and, um, what's his name, um... Uh, Mikey Garcia, you know what I mean, at the lightweight division. But in my opinion, those two guys beat him, you know what I mean? If he's struggling with guys like Dennis Shafika, who's a good, formidable fighter, and Javier Fortuna, a guy who likes to brawl it up, you know what I mean? And that's actually when he did have success. And Robert Easter, if he did do his homework and study, do some um, film study on the man Javier Fortuna, that's exactly what he's not supposed to do, you know what I mean? Try to engage in a in a brawl, a barroom brawl, and that's that favors the man Javier Fortuna. And he almost won this fight, ladies and gents. I'm sure there's some people on their scorecards who had it in favor of the man um, ha um, Javier Fortuna, you know what I mean? But, you know, um, the man Javier Fortuna, I think there were some rounds that he did give up, you know what I mean? But it was a close fight. Some rounds probably could have gone either way on people's scorecards. But Robert Easter, man, if this guy could fight tall, actually... I think, you know, the man hasn't had a knockout in a minute. You know, the crowd into Barclays Center was booing the man. The man had the nerve to say, oh, they booing him because um, he ain't get the knockout. Nah, man, you, you kidding me, man? You up in Brooklyn, man. Enough Dominicans, I'm sure, came out to support um, the man um, uh, Javier Fortuna, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and, you know, that's exactly why they were booing, you know what I mean? But um, the man Robert Easter, he needs to go up and wait, man. If he fights fellas like Richard Comey, we got to see how Richard Comey, I heard he got an eliminator, whoever wins that eliminator for the IBF. I can't forget, can't remember against who they faced the man Robert Easter. Mikey Garcia and, 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 and Jorge Linares, in my opinion, beat this guy if the guy continues to fight like a small fighter, crouching down, fighting to levels of um, opponents' levels, you know what I mean? Um, so that's my post fight review, B March Boxing. Let me know how you guys scored it. I had it six rounds apiece, 114, 113. The difference was the point deduction for the rabbit punches. B March Boxing, I'm gone. Peace.